Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Carmen and I'm the designer behind New Leaf Designs. And in this video, I am going to uh, talk about the West Nets Mystery Knit Along and I'm going to think about whether I'm going to do it or not. But first, uh, I wanted to show you the Mystery Knit Along shawls that I have made before. I'm recording this on my phone because my camera is recharging, so if you find me not looking at the camera, please forgive me. I have done two of the um, Mystery Knit Alongs by Stephen West, and the first one was this one. And I actually can't remember the name of this one. Is it called Chevron something? Um, it's very, very beautiful, and it was the first uh, mystery knit along that I did, and I actually bought the official kit. So this is Hedgehog Fibers, um, and I got three big skeins and three mini skeins. Uh, no, I think five mini skeins. Um, and it was also my very first time um, with the I-cord uh, cast on, and you can see that it is very, very um, tight. So, <laughs> and if you know Stephen West patterns, there's a lot of I-cord. Um, so here there's I-cord on the side. Um, so yeah, you really have to get comfortable with I-cord. And when I got to the bind off here you can see that it is much um looser so <laughs> if you hold them together it's like difference of day and night it's um yeah it's the same yarn probably different needle size but it's the same yarn <laughs> right um and i was actually so i was working on this and the first clue is, I think, this whole bit, or was that clue one and two? I think it was the first whole clue, so that was like, whoa, that's a lot of work. And I know that when I finished clue one, that I already wore it to a restaurant, and I really, really liked it. Um, I love this pattern. I think... I think this is also featured in one of his uh, later patterns, um, wandering something. Um, but then, <laughs> uh, like the the finished shawl is not something that I really wear because of the dangling points on here, and I think it is very. Um, it's it's not really my style. It looks like dragon scales, which, you know, could be awesome if I was going to some kind of uh, Warhammer event or I don't know. But um, yeah, for every day where it's just not really my style. So I think that I'm going to be doing some shawl surgery on this. Um, because... I love this shawl and I want to wear it, and uh, I put a lot of work into this. Um, I love the colors, the colors suit me, um, and I want to wear it, and I don't want it to be in a basket uh, on top of my closet. So, um, so now I am figuring out, you know, where do I want, like what part do I want to get off. <laughs> what point do I want to rip back? So um, I'm thinking of still keeping clue two, which is this, this part. It's kind of like a linen stitch. I think I want to keep it. Um, yeah, I think so. Um, but we will see. I can always rip that back as well. And then perhaps I will do a different border, perhaps, or I will just rip back to this and then that's it. That's my shawl. <laughs> and I'll get a whole lot of yarn uh, back as well. So, so that was the first one that I did. 
and I still can't remember the name. Um, yeah, I do really like the colors. And then the second one that I did is the uh, Starflake. So uh, I made a mistake here. <laughs> um, so this one, I'm just, yeah, I'm just not sure. I like, I kind of like this, but I don't like the beginning because it is too Christmassy for me. Um, yeah, it, it feels more like a Christmas tree dress. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure. I think I might be giving it to someone who likes it. But um, yeah, so um, for this one, I also bought one of the official kits and this was Twisted Finch, um, who is a indie dyer from the UK. And I do, I really, really like the colors. Um, I, I'm not sure if I would have put them together, but um, yeah. So that's the other shawl that I did. And um, looking at the inspiration for the shawlography Mystery Knit Long, which is this year, I'm not sure if I would like it. Um, but, you know, you never know that uh, with a Mystery Knit Long. But um, I was intrigued by the fact that, you know, they have a lot of different kits. And they also have a couple of very neutral kits and I thought okay well I could make that work um, and I think that I might do it uh, because I really like um, that I'm learning a lot of stuff along the way um, I like that I get a lot of stuff done because there is this aspect that you want to get it done before the next clue um, but then I also think I might just wait <laughs> and see what it looks like and then see how I can modify it because, you know, um, I don't want to be knitting this again and then, you know, ripping back. So, yeah. <laughs> but I will share some of the colors that I have in mind before I continue on this shawl surgery. So let me show you. All right, so this is one set that I had in mind. And these are all my, oh, <laughs> these four all, uh, are all my hand-dyed yarns. And then this one is hand-dyed by Atelier Sopa. And I think they look really good together. But, so the dark green is really dark. So if I want this to be balanced, then this color needs to be represented in all parts. So then I was thinking, okay, maybe these want to have a soft pink in there or maybe a gray. That could work. So this could work, but then, I don't know, would I... I think I would wear it, but um, yeah, <laughs> I think I would need to see the entire shawl before I make any decisions about that. But um, I also have these yarns, which are Gregoria fibers, um, and then I have this yarn, which is by Studio Maze. Belgian indie dyer. Um, I think these look really nice together and then I would maybe add the pink and gray but then I don't know I don't know if I wear these. So yes I am still debating the colors. I think I really like these. Um, yes but now so uh, looking back at this shawl, I think I'm just going to be picking up stitches. 
and there there are going to be a lot of stitches um, and then I'm just going to see <laughs> so here is the shawl I have my knitting needles right here and so I am debating whether I want to keep this part or not. Um, I actually think that I would like it better if, if I had something else here. Um, but, <laughs> you know, it's a lot of stitches. So... So I think I'm going to keep this part. Um, so let's see. I actually don't like the really white uh, section here. But I think that that might be the only way of me picking up the entire row. So see if i if i want to pick up the row beneath that um see it is in the is it in the same color no see it's the very light color in here so i think i'm gonna have to pick up this one even though it will have some very stretched stitches in places because Think that this part was made in short rows with different yarns each time and then the last row you knit over all of them so I think that is the last row that will allow me to pick up all of the stitches so I'm going to do that and I'm going to start at the right hand side which is all the way here and I don't think I knit this on three and a half millimeter needle but this is um, one and a half meter cord so that will be handy so if we look at that white section very closely I think that is at least two rows See, because there are stitches here and then there are stitches here so I think I might be able to pick up just this row and if I check back to the beginning I think that is still the same so let's do that and for the I cord I know that you have only one stitch per two rows so we are just going to have to pick this up um, I'm starting just on the very rightmost stitch of the I cord and picking up all of them hmm, this is kind of hard to see I think so <laughs> ideally I would be looking back at the pattern but I think I'm okay if I pick up this one and then this one. So I'm picking up all of these stitches. Okay, so I finished putting all of the um, stitches on the needle and now it is unraveling time. So I'm not going to cut because I want to salvage as much of this yarn as I can, um, especially the hedgehog fiber. I mean, it's all hedgehog fibers, but uh, especially the single space because I really like that. Um, so I'm just going to unravel this yarn from here I can still see where I've woven in the yarn okay. 
Okay, I have it. So I'm able to unravel the I-cord bind off now. So the unraveling begins. stitches wait I'm showing you the wrong side all of the stitches are live on the needle again so this last section you can see it's kind of a linen stitch I chose not to rip that back because I remember that is a lot of short rows and that might mean a lot of just short odds and ends of yarn um, because uh, you're alternating colors a lot there. So it starts very narrow here and then it gets wider towards the other end of the shawl. And so now is uh, the most difficult part which is deciding on what kind of border I want. I'm gonna have this as the right side up as it was originally so and I don't like a very pointy border I would like a flowing border or a straight one and I actually think I'm going to save that for a next video because otherwise it will take me ages to get this video out um, I am very pleased with the yarn that I have salvaged so far. There were a couple of breaks in the yarn, so that might mean moth damage, but I'm not sure. I don't think so, because it was just in one spot. Um, so this is what I have left at the granny colorway. I quite like this colorway. And... Um, I don't know what this colorway is. I know one of the others is truffle, but I think that's this one. Uh, so I have most left of this. And as this is quite a Halloween-y color, I'm actually um, very eager to use this one again. Uh, so yes, this was all of the yarn used in the border. I think altogether it might be close to like 70 grams so it's quite a lot um, so yes uh, wish me luck I am going to probably go through Stephen West's patterns <laughs> and see which kind of border I like and then find a border to attach to this if you have any suggestions at all please uh, let me know in the comments um, and also if you're planning to join the Mystery Knit Along for this year and if you're planning on using a more bright color palette or a muted one like I'm kind of um, partial towards or maybe you're using a speckled uh, palette I'm not quite sure if speckled yarn is advisable for this Mystery Knit Along I don't know how uh, how important it is to uh, have contrasting colors um, yeah and yes do let me know um, if you have any ideas for the border and if you would like to go back and customize one of your previous uh, mystery knit along shawls because I do think that this could be very um, interesting just going back to previous projects and seeing what we can do to make it more wearable so that we will actually use the projects that we spend so much time on making um, yeah I think that um, really puts the joy back into making so thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it even though it is not really one of my regular videos uh, and I hope to see you in a next video bye bye